Fully refracting crystals are two types. They are uniaxial crystal and biaxial crystals. Uniaxial crystals and biaxial crystal. If you consider a doubly refracting substance crystal, doubly refracting crystal, diffracting crystal, then the ordinary ray and extraordinary ray propagate with same velocity along optic axis. So along optic axis, the ordinary ray and extraordinary ray propagate with same velocity. And if you consider uniaxial crystal, then uniaxial crystals have only one optic axis. Only one optic axis. And for biaxial crystals, there will be two optic axis. Two optic axis. So that means for uniaxial crystal, there is only one direction along which the two rays propagate with same speed. And for biaxial crystals, there are two directions along which ordinary ray and extraordinary ray propagate with same speed. Now, the examples for uniaxial crystals are calcite, calcite, quartz, quartz, and tourmaline. Quartz, Q U A R T S, and tourmaline. T O U R M. A L I A L I N E tourmaline and for biaxial crystal the example is topaz T O P A Z topaz. Now next category is positive crystals and negative crystals. Positive and negative crystals. If you consider quartz crystal, if you consider quartz crystal. The ordinary ray, the velocity of ordinary ray, so V O, will be greater than velocity of extraordinary ray. Or I can say for quartz crystal, the refractive index of the ordinary ray is less than refractive index of the extraordinary ray. And this is said to be positive crystal. And if you consider a calcite crystal here, extraordinary ray travels much faster than ordinary ray so velocity of extraordinary ray ve will be greater than vo and here the ordinary refractive index of ordinary ray is greater than refractive index of extraordinary ray and here we call the crystal as negative crystal so, if refractive index of the ordinary ray is greater than extraordinary ray, then we call that crystal as negative. And examples, quartz and quartz for positive crystal, calcite for negative crystal.